Welcome, my beautiful people, to the Dawn Kitchen. Guys, the Dawn is in the kitchen again. And guess what? We're going to be cooking cow foot today. Curry cow foot. You know, cow foot is strong. The, everything from it, you know, men love cow foot. They said it's good for the back and the knee and all. It gives you stamina and all those stuff. So we're going to cook cow food. So guys, let's dive into it. One teaspoon of all purpose. Half a teaspoon of meat tenderizer. Some pimento seed, all spice. Two teaspoon of curry powder. A little butter, probably one ounce of butter. It's small. One onion. Thyme. Three stalks of scallion. This scallion is very small. It's like, oh yeah, one, two, three, four, four stalk. They're very small. This quantity is like three, but they're small. One green pepper. Jamaican, we refer to everything as scotch on it. <laughs> I really don't know, but. One green pepper. My pepper looking like this. Some crushed ginger. Because you're using curry, it's good for you to use ginger. So the, the curry powder won't affect your stomach, give you stomach ache. Did I say garlic? Three cloves of garlic. I already crushed them, as I see it, I, I crushed it. And some bay leaf. This is the salt I'm using. I'm using pink salt. So I'm using probably one teaspoon of this or half a teaspoon. Definitely, I know you're going to use the sea salt. So you use the salt to whatever proportion you want to use. And this is what makes the menu, your cow foot. This is a cow foot and it's the burnt cow foot. So, see, sometimes it's best when you buy the burnt cow foot because... All the four on it already burnt off. So now guys, I'm, I'm going to rinse the cow food which I did already. But I'm still going to do it just for the video. So with some cold water and your lemon or lime, you're just going to squeeze and they're going to rinse the cold water. Cold food, it carry a lot of bones. A lot of bones on it. Tough bone. Also, I have some water already boiling on the fire for the cold food. So I'm just going to pour the boiling water over it. Just let it sit in the hot water just for a little and then you're gonna pour pour off the hot water. You 
pour it back. I'm going to add some split peas to the cow food. And the split peas is looking like this. I'm using the yellow one. This is about one cup. Let me make sure it's one cup. Oh, almost one cup. So then you're gonna rinse your split peas and you're gonna add it to the cow food, but not yet because the split peas cook quick. But the cow food is gonna take probably up to two hours to cook because it's tough. So I'm gonna add this in now. So guys, the water is boiling and you wanna put the cow foot in. But you have to be careful or you put this cow foot in because you don't wanna get burned. All right, you take your time. And you pour it in away from you. As easy as that, you're going to put um, the ginger and your garlic. Also, the curry powder because you want the curry to cook. You're not going to put anything else in this because I'm telling you guys, it takes two hours to cook or more. And You put your stuff or the seasoning in it now. They're all gonna, the aroma, everything that's gonna come out because you got to keep putting water to this. Yes, and let me put the meat and the rice because I need it to cook fast. So that's all you need for now. And I see between one hour time, I'll come back. But before one hour, you're still going to be adding water. Remember, you're going to add water to the cow food. And you're going to just let this boil, rapid boil. That, I mean, medium eye flame. So I'll come back within one hour time. As we said, my beautiful people, within an hour time, so we will be checking back on the pot, right? So let me see where we are. You see the water all down, but this thing is nowhere cooked. You see, still hard, tough. And if the fuck it's like rubber. So we're gonna put some more water. So here I'm adding three cup of water to it. And I'm gonna put in the pimento seed. And the bay leaf. See, you wanna put your bay leaf in. Because the cow food gives a lot of oil and the bay leaf help to cut the, um, the oil. But let me put the next one more cup of water to this. We're going to cover this. Uh, okay, let me put my the pink salt in as I told you. Yeah. The pink salt. And I just want to cover it back. I'm giving it one more hour. So now we go. It's two hour now, my beauty, beautiful people. And it's time to do some more action, okay? So this is a time. I'm gonna put the time. 
I have the bean in some water. It was soaking, right? See? So I'm going to put the time. The time already rains. All my seasoning already rains. And the onion. doesn't matter how you really want to cut the onion because definitely it's going to boil out. So you want, just want to cut up the scallion. You rub the, the scallion like this. You rub it up. And the thyme. Your thyme and the split peas. The scallion, you rub the scallion out. And you cut this onion. So the butter and we're gonna get over to the pot now. This is a split piece in some water soaking, right? So let us get over and the pepper you cut the pepper and left back off. So everything is in this. So guys, that's all our crop for this looking after two hours. And all that water, you see? The water all down. So I'm gonna put everything in this the split peas and the scallion, thyme, pepper, all purpose. Butter. My butter melt up. This is three more cup of water I'm adding. Yeah, that's I'm gonna add two more cup of water to this. Two more cup of water. And we're just gonna stir. As I told you, it can take two hours or more, but not under. Once you're cooking it on the stove, if you have a pressure cooker, it will done faster. But definitely, I don't like to use pressure cooker. So now that you put the split peas in. I'm gonna give this 40 more minutes and see you back guys in the next 40 minute time. Let me cover the pot. So here we go again, my beautiful people. We checking in on the cow foot. <coughs> We want to see if our cow food cook. It's two hours and 40 minutes, right? So you want to stir it. Wow. Look at this man. Beautiful. So let us see if the cow food is cooked. Okay. In with the fork. See, your fork right through. And again, just fall from the bone right through. So you know your comfort is cooked. 
and again with this big one here fork right through so our cow food is cooked right hey my beauty beauty beautiful people the cow food the stamina food is ready ain't it looking tasty tasty guys i think you should give it a try come over taste try guys you can have this with some potato salad on the side you can have it with brown rice rice and peas whatever here i have some macaroni salad and some brown rice so you can have it with whatever you want to have it with guys so you like this video today please remember to thumbs up like thumbs up is the same as like subscribe and share thank you for watching d don kitchen love you all peace